In June 2023, OceanGate's Titan Submersible set out on a splashy adventure to visit the Titanic, because who doesn't want to tour a 110-year-old underwater wreck? Spoiler alert, it didn't exactly go swimmingly. What was supposed to be a historic dive turned into a catastrophic implosion faster than you can say submerged disaster. This wasn't your typical deep-sea sightseeing trip. It was a tragic reminder that sometimes exploring the ocean floor means meeting pressure you really can't handle. Buckle up. This story's deeper than the Atlantic and twice as intense. The Titan Submersible, a bold venture. OceanGate wasn't just building any underwater ride. They dreamed up the Titan Submersible to give everyday folks a chance to play deep-sea explorers and hang out with the Titanic wreckage. Think of it as the ultimate underwater Uber, but way cooler and, well, a lot riskier. Instead of the usual titanium hull, Titan sported a fancy carbon fiber and titanium combo, kind of like the superhero suit of submersibles, strong, lightweight, and sleek. The plan? Dive down to a jaw-dropping 4,000 meters, where the ocean is so dark and mysterious, it might as well be another planet. But not everyone was buying the hype. Scientists raised their eyebrows and their snorkels at the choice of carbon fiber. Sure, it's tough stuff for racing bikes and fancy tennis rackets, but underwater at crushing depths? Carbon fiber can act a little… unpredictable. It's like trusting your inflatable pool float to survive a shark attack, probably not the best idea. Plus, Titan didn't have the official seal of approval from any regulatory body, which made some experts uneasy. It was like buying a roller coaster ticket for a ride that hadn't been inspected. Thrilling, but maybe a little reckless. Despite the warnings and skeptics, OceanGate pushed forward, confident their high-tech sub would rewrite the rules of ocean exploration. Bold? Absolutely. Brave? You bet. But as the saying goes, fortune favors the prepared, and in the deep ocean, preparation can be a matter of life and death. The fateful voyage. June 18th, 2023, Titan was ready for its 88th dive, setting its sights on the legendary Titanic wreck, some 12,500 feet beneath the ocean's surface. On board were five brave souls, Stockton Rush, the fearless and, some might say, overly confident CEO of OceanGate, Hamish Harding, a British businessman with a penchant for adventure, Paul-Henri Narjolet, the French Titanic expert who probably knew the wreck better than his own backyard, and Shahzada Dawood, a Pakistani-British entrepreneur, along with his 19-year-old son, Suleiman. Turns out, deep-sea exploration runs in the family. As the sub began its slow descent into the abyss, all seemed routine, like a day at the office, if your office happens to be a tiny metal capsule hurtling towards crushing pressure. About one hour and 45 minutes into the dive, the world above went silent. Communication with the support vessel, Polar Prince, suddenly dropped off like a bad Wi-Fi signal in the middle of the ocean. Hope flickered when sonar buoys picked up mysterious sounds. Was it a whale, a giant squid, or maybe a message from the Titanic ghosts? Sadly, the truth was far worse. It soon became clear that Titan had experienced a catastrophic implosion. The pressure at those depths is no joke. It's like having the weight of a small building pressing down on every square inch of your tiny sub. The implosion was instant and fatal, claiming all five lives aboard. Four days later, search teams located the wreckage scattered about 1,600 feet from the Titanic itself, a somber reminder that even the most daring journeys can end in tragedy. The deep sea had claimed another story, one full of courage, risk, and heartbreak. Investigating the Cause After the tragic implosion, the U.S. Coast Guard and a host of other agencies dove headfirst into an intense investigation. Because when your sub goes boom deep underwater, people want answers, fast. Early clues pointed fingers at Titan's composite hull, made of carbon fiber and titanium, which apparently didn't enjoy the crushing pressure nearly as much as its creators hoped. Carbon fiber, it turns out, can be a bit like that unpredictable friend who's fun at parties but flakes out when things get serious, great in some situations but under extreme compression, not so much. 
Experts zeroed in on the hull's behavior under pressure, suspecting it may have catastrophically failed when the ocean decided to crank up the squeeze. Adding fuel to the fire, investigators uncovered that Titan wasn't exactly a stranger to trouble. Previous dives reportedly included ominous cracking sounds. Think of it like your car making weird noises, but you decide to ignore it because you're in a hurry. There were also battery issues, which raised even more red flags. But despite these warning signs, OceanGate pressed on, like a gambler doubling down on a risky bet. This led to serious questions about the company's safety protocols and decision-making. Were risks properly assessed? Was cutting-edge innovation overshadowing basic caution? The investigation peeled back layers of the story, revealing a cocktail of ambition, oversight, and technical challenges that together brewed a perfect storm beneath the waves. The Aftermath and Legal Repercussions After the heartbreaking implosion, OceanGate didn't just hit the pause button, they slammed the brakes so hard their sub might have felt it. All operations were suspended, and the company essentially closed shop, leaving a stunned underwater exploration community and grieving families in their wake. Speaking of families, the loved ones of the five lost passengers quickly sprang into action, filing lawsuits accusing OceanGate of negligence and wrongful death. Suddenly, this wasn't just a tragic tale of the deep. It became a courtroom drama with stakes higher than the ocean pressure itself. The disaster sparked a major wake-up call for the entire deep-sea exploration world. Safety standards? Yeah, those got a serious makeover, or at least some very loud calls for one. Regulators, engineers, and ocean enthusiasts began pushing for tighter rules and stronger oversight, realizing that when you're diving miles beneath the surface, winging it is not an option. Meanwhile, investigators kept their magnifying glasses glued to the wreckage, running simulations that probably made computer scientists sweat bullets. Every crack, every fragment was analyzed to piece together exactly what happened in those fatal moments. The hope? To turn this tragedy into a textbook case that future explorers could learn from, ensuring that deep-sea adventures come with better safety nets. In the end, the findings are expected to reshape how submersibles are designed and operated, making the ocean a little less mysterious and a lot safer for those who dare to dive deep. Because while the sea is full of wonders, it's also a harsh teacher and it demands respect. Lessons learned and moving forward. The Ocean Gate Titan implosion slammed home a sobering truth. Deep sea exploration is no casual stroll in the park. It's more like walking a tightrope over an ocean trench filled with hungry sea monsters. Innovation is fantastic, and pushing boundaries is how we discover new frontiers, but it can't come at the cost of safety. The Titan tragedy showed us that fancy materials and bold dreams don't replace good old-fashioned engineering rigor and safety checks. One major takeaway? Certification and regulatory oversight aren't just bureaucratic headaches, they're lifesavers. They're the unsung heroes making sure your submersible isn't just a glorified tin can waiting to get crushed by the crushing pressure of the deep. Without these guardrails, exploration risks becoming a game of Russian roulette with the ocean. As investigators continue their deep dive into what went wrong, the hope is that this tragedy will rewrite the rulebook on deep sea tech. Future submersibles should be tougher, smarter, and safer, blending cutting-edge innovation with tried-and-true engineering wisdom. The ultimate goal? To protect the brave souls who dare to explore the abyss and to keep the titanic wreck site intact for history buffs, researchers, and curious souls for generations. So, while the ocean remains a place of mystery and wonder, it also demands respect and a seriously good safety plan. After all, when you're swimming with the giants of the deep, better safe than sorry isn't just a saying, it's a survival strategy. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Titan tragedy, don't forget to hit that like button, because exploring the ocean is safer when we stick together. Subscribe for more gripping stories from the depths and beyond. And remember, curiosity might drive us to the edge, but safety keeps us coming back for more.